Hello again guys, today we're going to be replacing this relay right here. This is relay number 109. So you can see the pins on it. And the part number is right there. So let's get started. Get inside the vehicle here. To gain access to where this relay is at, we need to remove this cover here. So the first step would be to remove these T20 torque screws. There's one right here, one in the middle here, and off to the far right, there's one there. So three of those, remove those, and then you can drop this panel here. All right, if we look up under here, you can see, I don't know if you can see that uh, gray relay on top of that big black one there, that's 109. It's hard to get the camera up there so you guys can see it. Let me try a little better. This side here. There it is. There's 109 right there. So I'm going to pull it out and replace it with the one I bought. Okay, so here's the relay out of the vehicle here. As you can see, it's a little smaller than the new one. But uh, this is the way it was mounted inside there. It was upside down. I don't know why they do that with the numbering. But anyway, it has the part number right here, which matches the one I got, that 1J09063813A, which is the same as this one. Although this relay has... Um, I guess that's the manufacturer's part number, which is the one that's in bold here. But um, they do have the same uh, pins on them, so... And I know there's enough room that this one will work, although it is much larger in size, so... Alright, so before I install this, I decided to actually mark this 109. It had no marking on it whatsoever. That way, while it's in there, it's clear and we can see that. This one here was marked, but it's upside down. I don't know why, but uh, anyway, that one was clear. You could tell which one it was. This one here, you'd never know. So I decided to do that, and uh, we'll go ahead and put this in now. Okay, the relay's in. You can see it clearly marked, the tape on it. So now we can go ahead and start it up. All right, here we go. It cranked right over, so that's a good improvement. Okay, we can put this kick panel back on. That completes this little task. Uh, it's a cheap relay, it's not that much. So I was lucky here because the car was cranking over, cranking over, wouldn't start, wouldn't start. And uh, that was the issue. So I'm glad that was an easy fix. And it starts right up now. So thanks for watching guys, please subscribe, take care.